Leos, what's going on, my loves? Listen, thank you to everyone that's like, share, subscribe. If you guys have purchased a reading or donated to my page, I appreciate you so much. Thank you, okay? This energy could be masculine or feminine. Place it on whatever side you need to. Now, getting into this. Because, yeah, this energy is popping up off these cards. I just shoveled them, laid them down, trying to, like, get through these readings a little quicker. Um, if you let me back into your heart, I will treat you the same way, like an option. Mm. Let me tell y'all what I see right now, Leos. Somebody here was dealing with a person, and you felt like everything was going smoothly. You felt like, yeah, you may have had your ups and your downs, may have had your disagreements here and there, but you felt like things overall were good. This person out the blue started acting funny. This person out the blue started moving funny. And this person out the blue may have left you all together and said, you know what? I can't do this. I got to go elsewhere. Mm -hmm. This person couldn't tell you that they went off and they may have started something with someone else and may have ended up having a child where they were. Right? I don't know what to do. I don't know what to do. I'm so ashamed. This is not a person that could tell you what was going on um, and why they had to leave you alone okay there's some things going on you would not understand i'm sorry so this caused somebody to move a little wickedly they had to move strategically okay um they had to be slick like a fox they had to do things out of the ordinary and may have done a lot of these things at night mm-hmm This person may live near woods. Or there may be a long driveway that leads through like through a wooded path, like like woodsy um, to a person's house or something of that nature. Just have to put that out there. However, OK, so spirit has been trying um, to alert this person. To some things via their their um, their dreams, and I feel like this person has been waking up in a in a cold sweat because they feel like they are having nightmares. But spirit is just trying to show them some things. Someone has been doing whatever they feel like they need to do to get someone to come back to them. And this person is also having um, a divine intervention. That's what I'm going to call it. Spirit is saying, you know what? I got one person over here that's doing the wrong things, may have walked away from someone and hurt someone. But I have the other person that got hurt over here doing the wrong things as well right this person that got hurt is saying you know what that person belongs to me i don't care what nobody says this is what it is i'm gonna do what i need to do to get this person back no matter what it is right because this person is very uh special to me this person is irreplaceable this is my person mm -hmm. right i feel like this person has been watching a, their person Right. Just like this picture has a light tower in it. I feel like someone has been like posted up at different events or different venues or different things or wherever they feel like they're going to come in contact with the person that's no longer with them. I feel like someone's watching. It could be social media as well. But spirit is saying there's going to be a disruption. This is that divine intervention. OK. This disruption, this uh, excuse me, this disruption. Is going to be like a tower moment for someone because spirit is saying, stop, that's enough. Okay. I understand that you believe that this is your person, but if this was your person, okay, if this was your person, I would have given them to you, right? Spirit is saying that someone here needs to see the rejection as a protection and as a blessing instead of them saying, something got derailed right ace of wands right someone is using all their passion to get their way someone is very inspired about a thought in their mind 
Okay, someone could be dealing with a fire sign or someone could be a fire sign. I think that may be you, Leo. Okay, you could also be dealing with a, a fellow fire. Um, but listen, someone here saying now it's time for a new beginning. It's time for me to have the shit that I'm supposed to have. It's time for me, you know, to have my life on track with this person that I'm no longer with. All right. And I'm in the I'm in the game. you right. This is what it is. I'm a fight for him to the end. Wow. So we have the five of pentacles in reverse. What someone is saying is as this, as they reconnect with this person, because in their mind, they're saying, as I reconnect with a person, everything I'm currently going through is going to be over with all the poverty, all the, the stress, all the financial hardships, all of the stuff that I've been going through uh, will be eliminated once I'm back um, with this person. I'm feeling like, guys, that someone here may be connected to someone that has some sort of good finances or may own a business or something of that nature. Someone is saying, yeah, they'll take care of me. I just got to get them back first. Hmm. Yeah. Taurus energy with that card, guys. Got Sagittarius energy here. Yep. I'm feeling like someone wants someone to return to them. So it's like, I'm not going to let you forget me. Even though we're not together, I'm going to stay in your life in some way, or I'm going to bother you, or I'm going to ask you questions, or I'm going to interact with you however I can interact with you so that you will understand right? And be encouraged to really start something new here. Okay. Someone could be dealing with someone that's like, you know, very popular, something of that nature, or people know their name, et cetera, et cetera. Um, you know, in the community, you know, it could be that someone may own a business. So they're popular from that. Think of how it resonates with you. Um, but someone is saying, yeah, I just got to get back with this person. Give me one more, Spirit. And then my life is going to change. I no longer be out in the cold. I'll no longer have these issues or these hardships that I've been dealing with because that person is not going to have me go through. They're not going to let me. They'll take care of me. Yeah. Yep. The fool card energy is coming through Aries, right? Someone is saying, like I said, someone is like steadfast. You may be doing things or someone may be doing things that does not make sense to anyone but them when it comes to this person. People may be saying, hey, I don't know why you're still checking for that person because this person ain't checking for you. And someone's saying, wait, you're going to see. You're going to see. You're going to see what I see. Eventually, you're going to see what I see. They're going to be with me. They're going to come back. Watch. This is a person that's going to come back and give me everything I want, right? But what someone doesn't understand is this, this fixation on this person that you have has taken your youth away, or it is taking your youth away, right? The fool card energy comes through for you to take a leap of faith on yourself, not on this person. But someone is not seeing it that way. Someone is saying, you know what? I have the energy here of someone that pulls their own tarot cards as well. So if someone is pulling tarot cards, they're not interpreting the cards the way that they need to because they feel so overpowered with love for a person that even when they pull cards that are saying no, 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 um, someone here is reading the cards in a way that will make it yes. In other words, you're not even being honest with yourself about a situation or a person, okay? So this is what I see. I'm sending you guys the utmost love and light. You guys take care.